All right, we got a little bit of time on lunch break, so a quick show of the, I think it's like a 90s model FLB. Um, it's a pretty custom truck. It started out as a crane truck or a pump setting truck out in California. So I'm going to start. A good way to tell that <clears throat> is because of these oversized steers, which is unusual. The Chelsea PTO. It's kind of a giveaway in the locker in the rear. We're going to start on the outside. We've only got about eight minutes. And then we can back to the delivering the propane. There's the M11 Cummins in it. Back glass. So the cool part is this frame cut he did here. He, uh, If you'll notice, it's actually flat there. Curves down, then goes back up. You could actually probably put a level across those two and it would be the same height. He did this. Because with this hydraulic setup over here, this right here tilts up and down to fit different kinds of boats. Hopefully, we'll play with that later today. I'm guessing that's what these two levers do. Don't know much about it yet. All right. It's a 355 rear with a locker. Custom aluminum fenders. Um, you definitely don't want shit getting on the boat. Here's our Stinger fifth wheel. Um, I don't know if it actually drug coming up the driveway or not. It's a little iffy. Um, it's uh, kind of cool. It's kind of like a car hauler spec. And then this is an old Cartwright, Cart Cartwright trailer. He took it, cut it, braced it. You can see where some of the old pins were. And he had this set up where he can put one boat on the back of the truck. He can put a boat or a boat and a trailer in the center. Um, a big, big boat. I mean, it's got a hell of a belly on her. And then he left this part back here. He also had a uh, set of uh, mounts back here for a boat. Let me get back here. So he actually had bunks on the rear. So you can put a boat on the rear too. Or you could drive a car or a trailer. So his idea behind this was he can go and pick up new boats. And not only could he grab, if he went up there, he can grab a boat without a trailer and put it on the truck. But also, if they had two small boats that were going that required a trailer each to go with them, he could throw those on here. Or he can put one of these big 28-footers in the belly and maybe one on the rear. Plus one on the truck. Um, it's just a very unique, very custom build. Um, this is his 1.0 version. He spent a lot of money on it, and I believe he's going to build a second one. His downfall is he he uh, didn't realize how important a sleeper was going to be. Um, you know, he was expecting to stay in hotels all the time, but he ran a little bit too hard for that, so. Do a little walking. We'll get up in the cab. It wasn't a tail light there. I guess it didn't survive the trip home. 24.5 tall rubbers. That's another thing. Um... It's on 24.5 talls, and uh, with this stinger setup, it really needs low pros. It just does. Um, but it can't really do that because of. Uh, you can't really do that because, well, the stinger will drag. So maybe something else he needs to think about. Because you can get this truck a lot lower. Um. But you have to cut the stinger and redo it, which isn't a big deal. That's a couple hundred dollars from a good fab shop. Maybe a couple thousand. <clears throat> All right. Ugh. 